Hi, I'm Coach Gabby and I want to welcome you to the Tonal Community. Now, I know it's taking a little bit longer for you to receive your tonal, and so I created Strong and Centered to hold you over in the meantime. This workout is going to require zero equipment, and the focus is going to be on the center of the body the entire way through. Now, rest assured that once you do receive this beautiful piece of equipment, there's going to be hundreds of different programs and workouts for you to choose from. I hope you enjoy this, and I will see you soon. Hello and welcome. I am Coach Gabby, and today you have locked yourself in for a cardio workout. I want to welcome you to my home. If you have not stepped into my living room through one of my other workouts yet, welcome. On set with me today, like every other day, I've got Bia, who is just casually sitting on that lovely couch where she spends most of her hours every single day. Now team, all you're gonna need today is your mat. As I mentioned, it's a core workout. My mission is going to be to get you in tune with the center of that body. And through the strength we build in the center of the body, I want you to translate that mentally and emotionally as well. I hope you all are staying safe at home, but I also wanna keep you sane at home. So let's release some stagnant energy. Let's get focused, let's have fun, let's dive into the center of the body. Let's get into priming that body right here, right now. So I wanna start you in a tabletop position and the shoulders are gonna be directly over your wrists, your knees right under your hips. We're gonna start with a cat cow. Now, as you arch the spine, rounding back of the spine to the ceiling, give me an inhale, go. Inhale, round the spine. Exhale, big arch here, chin to the sky, extend and reach. Your breath works everything. Inhale, push. Exhale, round in the spine. Good, three more, inhale. Pushing into the heels of the hands, stretching the spine. Exhale, big arch and release. Good, again, inhale. And exhale. Good, one more, inhale. Exhale. Good. We're gonna go into a single limb bird dog here. So extending, left arm out. Good, extending, left leg out. Stabilize the core, give me the opposite side. Right arm, reach. Good. Reach. Again, right all the way around that clock. So left, right arm. Good. Extend and reach out of that heel. Good, right. Reach, and the leg. Now team, we're gonna go two more rounds, and I want you to extend a little bit more. Go, reach more, roll the shoulder down away from the ear. Work in opposition always. Extend out of the heel, but energy out of the crown of the head. Good, keep the breath work. Right arm reaches, core tight, stabilize. Good, left leg reaches. One more time, go. Arm, center, leg, yeah, explore that body, center, arm, center, leg, yeah, good. Now let's go for just a standard bird dog here, yes, yeah? so you're going to need the opposite arm, opposite leg, big extension, reach, press down, center the weight of the body. Now, as we focus on centering the body, I want you to focus on centering the mind, opposite side. Clear your mind. Be selfish during this class. Go ahead, switch. This workout is for you, again, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. Truly connecting mind, body, soul, other side. Good. One more each side. Big extension, reach, and the other, good, beautiful, okay team, so listen, here is what's ahead of you, we've got one block, you've got five moves, work rest ratio, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, once you complete all five moves, I'm going to give you a full minute rest because you're going to earn it, so let's get right into it, we're about 10 seconds out, our first motion is a W hold. Take a look at me. If you need to see an example before you get into it, you're lying on that mat. Chin is gonna stay
stay close to the chest. Elbows come down and away. Flex your feet and activate. On the clock, let's go. So first motion in this set has us in stillness. I want you to activate your body. Squeeze your core. Do not allow any pressure in that low back. That's going to be your little red flag. If you feel pressure in that low back, check in with your abdominals. Pull those abdominals in towards the spine. Ensure that you have a long neck. You have 10 seconds, baby. Come on. Can you reach your heels further? Can your elbows come deeper? Relax the neckline. Yes, good. Recover. Rest. 20 second transition. Now we're simply going to go into a shoulder tap plank here. We're getting into it, baby, let's go. Remember, your most important thing here, shoulders directly over those wrists, yes? Feet can be hip width apart, the width of the mat, whatever's right for you, keep those hips stable. Go, baby, touch. Now again, focus is down, right? Breathe. Eliminate the wobble in those hips. Stay strong. What's going on with you mentally and emotionally? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Are you feeling a bit stuck? Are you feeling emotional? Use this workout to release, to let go, and to create space for new. Come on. That's it, you guys. Good, we're gonna transition flat on that back here. We're going into a dead bug. All right, so flat on the back. Roll those wrists out if you need to. Dead bug, knees directly on top of those hips. Heels flex in line with the knees. Fingertips directly on your shoulders, extending opposite arm and opposite leg. Let's get into this now. Let's go. So reaching one and then the other. It's 40 seconds. How fast, how slow do I move, Coach Gabby? That's up to you. You gotta honor your body. But a couple rules of thumb here. First and foremost, form. Do not ever sacrifice form to go quicker. Also, remember, sometimes slowing it down is where the challenge actually lives. It's all about resistance. It's all about that internal flex, and I can't make you do that part. Give me one more. Reach and recover. Good. We're going back to that Standard position here. We're gonna go for mountain climbers. It's gonna be a little bit of a cardio push. I wanna release some toxins, get some sweat flowing. In five seconds, we start, baby. Get in that position. Got you focused, got you strong. Here we go, mountain climbers. Now these can work slow or fast. Do what's right for you. And remember, you have three rounds. So maybe the first round, it's slow and you find it. I know you got a proud chest. I know you're supporting the neck. And then from there, it's all about the drive into that knee to contract that core. Let's go, come on. 10 seconds, push. Yes, baby, yes. Couple more, come on. That's it. Take those knees, we got one more set. It's a sprinter crunch here. I got you back flat on your back, team. Nice and easy. We now, we now know our way around this block. And with this sprinter crunch, classic move for us here at Tunnel. And let's get right into it. Here we go. Sprinter crunch, let's go. Come on, squeeze, switch, squeeze. Same thing here with speed. What is the technique of this motion? It's all about that twist in the trunk of the body. Pull back in that lead arm to get that twist strong. One layer deeper in the core. Couple more. yourselves down. Do what is right for you, yes? Nice and easy here. I don't know about you, 
But for me, I need music. Working out, I feel like a million bucks after I've completed it, but I got a million excuses while I'm doing it to just tap out, to not do that next round, to not do that next set. You're all Coach Gabby, cool, I did one round. Not really feeling motivated, I'm about to dip, don't dip. For me, what helps me, get that music playing. Get up off that mat if you don't have music bumping and turn it up. And if that's not what it is for you, what is it for you? What's gonna help you? Is it eliminating any other distraction? Closing the door? Asking the kids to stay away, yeah? The most important part is to be selfish. We're 20 seconds out, we have a second round. You know you're starting with your W hole. Begin to find yourself back on your mat and get ready to rock and roll, baby. Second set, we explore. What can we do different? What can we do more of? W holds in three, two, and one. Flex pull. Good. Now, I would consider myself a pretty high energy coach. And that's because I love movement. I love energy around me, within me. And so putting a moment of stillness in my workouts, I thoroughly enjoy because it truly challenges me. I'm more high rep, low weight type of workout. When we're using that body weight, although I'm always exploring my mind, good time. I really, really like to play with things to trip me up a little bit. So those moments of stillness are where they are for me. Now we're gonna go into that shoulder tap plank here. Five seconds out, baby. Get ready, lock and loaded, nice to the wrists, yeah? Shoulders right underneath, or right above, I should say. You're on that clock, shoulder taps, go. Tap. Is it slower? Is it faster? Are your hips moving? Are you pulling your belly button in? Beyond the belly button, envision those six squares. Do you feel all of them? Stay with me, 10 seconds, come on. Tap, 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 tap. Find the breath work, do not close off that line of oxygen. This is it. Take those knees, baby. We're going into that dead bug. Flat on that back. Nice and easy, rolling the wrists out. Ooh, I'm feeling my wrists today. I'm gonna to show you an option for modification if any of you are feeling them like me. Dead bug position, it's important. Knees, hips, knees, heels, fingertips, shoulders. Let's go, baby. Reaching one and then the other. Now, as you extend your fingertips, your biceps towards your ear, keep your shoulder down away from that ear. Not for me, for yourself. We don't want no kinks in that neck. No excuses to not come back and work out with us again. Let's go. Whoosh. I'm going to pick up my tempo. I'm going to make sure my low back is kissing the ground. I'm going to flex my foot more. I feel my shins. Really focusing on that core. One more each side. Go. Again. Push and recover. Good. So I promise I'd give you a modification if you're feeling those wrists a little bit. Pop up to your knuckles. Yeah? So if you're feeling the flex of the wrist is a little bit hard today, pop up to your knuckles and keep it strong. Just make sure you don't collapse in that wrist. Here we go, team. I got mountain climbers, baby. Make it sweat on the clock. Go. Drive. I'm gonna go for speed this time. Push. That's it. Now roll your biceps forward, triceps back. Feel the heels of the hand into the ground. Stabilize that body, use your core. As you hike that knee in, find the low abdominals. Push. I want you to work, don't stop till you get through your 10 seconds, baby. Let's go. It's an intermediate class. Yes, you will take something away from this, but I'm not breaking you today. Come on, that's it. Recover, rest, beautiful. Flat on the back, 20 seconds. Big inhales in your transition. Breathe with me, inhale. Exhale. Good again, inhale. 
Exhale. Good. We got that sprinter crunch, baby. Twist and pull. Go. Come on. Twist. That's it. Twist. Push. Good. Push. So let your neckline follow the rest of the spine. So make sure your twist isn't happening in that neck, but in that core, right? Come on. Push. You got to hold yourself accountable. I'm here to create your template and to energize you, to help motivate and push you. You have to hold yourself accountable. I can't see you, but I can give you all my energy. Last one. Good. That's it, baby. Drink some water. You got a minute of rest right here, right now. I mentioned staying sane earlier, yeah? What an interesting space we're all in, but awesome that we're all in it together. And I'm okay with us all being forced to slow things down a little bit, yeah? It's good to shake up our rhythm. We are creatures of habits and learning what those habits are and exploring why we have them is important. And sometimes with our go-to-go, -go, busy, busy life, we feel like we don't have the time to slow down and think, to, to the, internalize, to, to stay curious, to explore. And so I hope that you're taking this time to really do that, yeah? And what an amazing thing. We're blessed to have Tonal being able to work out to continue to strength train in our home. Who knows when the gyms are going to be open again? But so blessed to have this and amazing to be able to have these little quick fit workouts where we can pull out, dive into one section of that body and really get strong. I want you in that W hole, baby. We're here. Let's go. This is the last time you see all of these moves. Yes. Here we go, in three, in two, and one. Pull up. Activate your glutes now. Flex your abdominals, feel the release in the low back. Don't just listen to what I'm saying and let it come in one ear and out the other. Apply to self. Make what she's saying make sense to you. And it's okay to disagree with me sometimes or to have different thoughts. This is your time. This is your workout. You do what's right for you, but you honor that body. Recover, release. Good. Relax. That's it, you guys. Ah, shoulder tap lengths, baby. Ease in those shoulders and that neckline. Let's get into this right here. We're starting in three, in two, in one, go. Mind strong so that the body can execute. Stabilize. I want you to witness in real time, tune in, how your body is a tool, how you're utilizing that body to strengthen self. All the way, 10 seconds, come on. After this, you're flat on the back, stay strong. All the way through, breathe, recover, rest, good. <sighs> Making our way flat on that back. No rush, 20 seconds to get there, you're at that 10 second mark. I like a dead bug because although I'm laying on my back, I'm feeling my core, I'm using my arms and my legs, and I'm exercising my mind, right? Find the position. Let's go. Like, I literally grew up a dancer. I've got good coordination. But for some reason, this damn move, it forces me to think every single time, making sure I'm extending the right arm with the right leg, so on and so forth, right? Good. So it's an extension working in opposition, a deep squeeze and contraction as you pull in. Imagine you have a really big rubber band around the arch of that foot and the palm of that hand and you're stretching and you're controlling the contraction, stretching, controlling the contraction. Give me one more. Recover, rest, 
Yeah, baby. Five moves, that's that third move. That means you only got two more. Washboard abs, baby, around the corner. But more importantly, how we look is about how we feel and that strength in the core is gonna get you strong everywhere. Let's go, baby mountain climbers. I want you to push this time. Do something different, do something more on the clock. Let's go. Push. All right, I'm going straight speed this time. You do what's right for you. Eliminate the bounce. First things first, protect. Gotta keep you nice and prime. Super legit so you can keep coming back time and time again. Let's go. All the way. 10 seconds. Yes, recover. Woo, roll, baby, roll. Flat on that back, sprint or crunch. Twist more, flex deeper, execute 100%. You're like, Gabby, I did 100% last time, cool. Do it again, and what does 100 and 100 and 200 and 3% feel like? Let's go, baby, on the clock, go. Push, go, push. because we're turning that corner. Come on. Strong arms. Ha. Ha. Right here. One more each side. Reach, other side. Ah. Good. Find yourself in the seated position here for a moment. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed. Ha. Little sip of water if you need it, I need it. I'm gonna give you just a quick, quick cool down. Don't run away yet. Good. <sighs> nice and easy. Deep inhale and go. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I'm gonna just take you through a couple rounds of cat and cow, just like we started, baby, nice and easy. Now this time, you know how to really activate in the heels of your hands, round the spine, flex the core, shins and tops of the feet into the ground, big stretch for those abdominals as you reach and arch up. Does it feel different? Go, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Ah, one more, inhale. Exhale. Ah, sit back on those shins. You did it, baby. I didn't do it, you did it. Amazing work. I hope you feel this in your core. I hope you release some stagnant energy or any energy that was stuck in that body that wasn't serving you. Listen, if you feel some little sparks of random emotions that you can't put your fingertip on, it's normal. It's okay. I advise you to explore them. I advise through your strength training to find a way to eliminate anything that does not serve you. Again, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope this helps you stay a little bit more sane. Me and Bia, we're out, baby.